welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time with us please subscribe so today i will be teaching you guys how to make this today i'll be teaching you all how to make this fur jacket um long story short the reason why i feel the need to make this video is because i wanted to create this i wanted to create this jacket however there was no resources on how to do it any patterns or anything so i winged it joanne's had 60 percent off on all fabric all fur fabrics they have that until the 27th if you want to catch it and i decided to go with it today i will teach you how to self-draft this the materials you will need to complete this look are scissors a tape measure fur batting is optional um it just makes your fur poofier if you want it poofier and more fuller so that's always an option and you will also need a lining fabric to go underneath the fur since this is self-drafted you will need pattern paper to create a pattern again your tape measure scissors and whatever you use as far as like a ruler or like a curved ruler whatever you need to scope your pattern all right let's dive right into creating your pattern so for me, I have a jacket that I love the fit of it. So instead of starting from scratch, what I did was trace that jacket and created my pieces based off of the fitting of that. So the front piece I created, I use it for the front and the back because it's not a shirt and I didn't want it to be fitted. So it really didn't make a difference. So when you cut out that front piece, you cut you cut it on the fold and that will be your back piece because when you open it up, it will be two. And then you cut two individual pieces, not on the fold because that will be each side of your front. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about when I show you cutting my pieces. Once you complete your pattern pieces, get your lining, your fur, and your batting, and begin to cut all the pieces you, you need for the garment. Once you have completed cutting all the pieces, you will set the lining aside and grab the fur and the batting. Line the fur and batting together and create your lines. Do them as small or as thick as you want to. In this clip, you will see me adding extra batting because I wanted my fur poofier. However, I do only recommending only adding two more layers because mine is pretty poofy. Also, so now that you see that you have those lines on your pattern or on the batting, you will sew across each one of those lines. Make sure you do this to your sleeves as well. Once you have completed sewing all the lines, you should get something that looks similar to this. Your next step is to begin to sew the front and the back together. You will do this by stitching at the shoulder line. Disregard me pointing at the side because it's easier to not sew the sides together until after you do the sleeve. To apply the sleeve, what you would want to do is to face the right sides together like that, and then you'll stitch along the line. The easiest way is to pin these, however, my fabric is super thick, so I did not pin. Once you have completed this stitch, the next step is 
to sew the sides together and finish sewing the sleeves. If you watch, I'll point exactly where you need the stitch at. Yes, our jacket is coming along really, really well. Okay, at this point, it's almost time for bed. So yes, I do have my bonnet on. However, let's focus on the lining. We are going to sew the lining pieces together just like we did the fur. Now that it's time to sew the sleeves on, you are going to do exactly what you did for the fur and the batting. So it's really, really simple, but just pay attention. Okay, our lining is completed, and now it is time to attach it and make everything one piece. Okay, yes, I do have my nightgown on because I woke up and I wanted to dive right into sewing. So yeah, just disregard that and let's focus on the lining. So what you should do is fold it how I am. If you don't want to fold it, it's kind of harder to do it that way. You can just iron it and make that make a pre-fold on it so it'll be easier for you to just hand stitch it on. If you do not want to hand stitch it, you can machine stitch. However, I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to risk adding additional lines to my garment that I did not want. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video I put together for you all. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Again, thanks.